Hi everyone, today we are comparing cheap pan watercolors from Lidl to student grade Kotman watercolors and painting a couple of parrots. I'll paint one parrot with this watercolor set from Lidl. The brand is United Office. Lidl also sells Crelando 2 watercolors, but we're not talking about those today. So you get 24 pans. And with a quick look, it seems like some of them are duplicates, but they're not. They're all different colors, at least slightly. So in the box there are a couple of name tags, cause apparently these are meant for kids to use at school. There's also an opaque white paint in a tube and a flat brush. I started out by using the flat brush, but quickly changed to my own round brushes and a larger brush for the background. The pans are movable, so you can change the order if you'd like. I accidentally dislodged some of them a couple of times while painting. The lid has wells where you can mix the colors, and the plastic box is nice and sturdy. They don't mention the names of the pigments anywhere, although the pans are numbered on the bottom, I just didn't find any info on what pigments the numbers correspond to. For the other parrot, I'll use the Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolor set. And here's a bit of an update to the video where I tried to refill the pans from this set with two watercolors. The lemon yellow one has stayed quite nicely in place, but the crimson red shattered completely. There was a tip in the comments on that video that you can try adding glycerin to prevent them from cracking. But I just think that when I did the refill last summer, it was so hot that even the original pan started cracking and falling off, so this watercolor set isn't in a great shape in general anymore. But I wanted to mention this to tell you that the Cotman set isn't just Windsor & Newton paints, but two of them are actually from Home Hobby two watercolors. Now let's get on to the paintings. I'm painting parrots, but the paintings have mostly different color schemes, so it isn't a comparison of particular colors in each set. I just have a bunch of ideas for parrot and bird paintings, and I cut a couple of them down here. I had a few sketches in my sketchbook, and then did the final sketch directly onto the watercolor paper with watercolor pencils. Both the paper and the watercolor pencils are by Home Hobby, like some of the brushes and the refills for the other watercolor set, and they were sent to me for another video last year. You can also find a list of the supplies with links below in the video description if you're interested in any of them. With the watercolors from Lidl, I painted a kayak, and sorry in advance if I'm pronouncing it wrong the whole video. I took the photo I used as a reference at the bird park at Madeira Botanical Garden some years ago. I actually painted an Amazon parrot from the same visit a few years ago on this channel. I set the parrot to sit on a cut of tree branch that's just kind of floating in the air, cause I knew I wouldn't use a background for the image I upload to Redbubble or my other POD shops, and I added a couple of tropical leaves behind the bird. The one I painted with Gottman and Home Hobby watercolors is a cockatoo playing with makeup. The reference photo I used is of a white umbrella cockatoo called Kaija at the bird sanctuary in Heinola, here in Finland, and she's a rescue bird like the other parrots there too. They also take care of injured wild birds. I changed the color of the cockatoo to pink though, cause I wanted to add some color. So she turned into more of a Molakan cockatoo. I used some other images as references for the foot on the ground, like this one of another cockatoo called Rambo at the same bird sanctuary. I added a necklace to the Kaik painting, cause this was again one of my parrot painting ideas. I saw a parrot video of how to make DIY toy necklaces for pet parrots, and I thought it was a great idea for a painting. Even though in the video the necklace is actually for the owner to wear, and the parrot to play with, not for the parrot to wear. I don't remember what the cost of these paints was, but searching online, it seems the little watercolors cost around 3 to 4 euros. 
The Cotman watercolor pocket set with 12 half pounds costs anything from 15 to 25 euros, depending on where you look. And the home hobby watercolor set with 12 tubes is 7 euros. I was painting these over one weekend at the summer cottage. One of the things I like to do to keep myself entertained while painting is listening to audiobooks. And one of the books I read this past summer at around the time I was painting these was Stephen King's Doctor Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining, and which you can also find as an audiobook on Audible. If you don't use Audible yet, you can start a free trial through the link below and get two free audiobooks, which you get to keep even if you cancel the subscription before paying anything. It's also an affiliate link, so it's a way of supporting this channel for free while getting yourself two free audiobooks at the same time. I've been sketching parrots a bit lately, but I definitely don't have the anatomy down yet, so I feel like I might make another version of this parrot with the eyeshadow set. Kind of looks like her feet are both on the ground and the other foot isn't actually hers. It's something about the position of the wing and the foot that's not on the ground. I used the white tube paint to highlight the eye and the wings of the kayak, just so you can see that being used too. You might as well use white acrylic paint in its place though. I also added feathers on the head of the cockatoo, kind of half up at the end to make her head a bit fluffier. I wasn't originally going to add backgrounds at all, cause I would just end up cutting them out in editing anyway, but then I remembered I want to film the tape peeling at the end for my ASMR channel, and the tape peeling is gonna look a lot better if there's background and you're revealing the crisp white edges, so I decided to paint simple backgrounds. Coming back to comparing the paints, I'm not seeing any particular difference when the paintings are dry, but they do feel a little different if you touch them. So the one painted with the United Office watercolors from Lidl feels a little chalky. It feels like there's something rubbing on your fingers when you touch it. I don't know about the light fastness, so the little watercolors don't mention that on the box or online, but they're marketed as for kids who are 5 years and older, so I'm thinking they're probably not light fast. I also don't know about the light fastness of the Home Hobby 2 paints, but for the Cotman paints the light fastness differs between pigments and they're listed on their website. I would say these United Office watercolors are definitely nicer than any typical watercolor paints I would use as a kid. My mom got these from Lidl and showed them to me first before showing them to my nieces and nephew and I said I want to try them out and they can have them afterwards so I will give them back after one or two more paintings. But I do like them based on the first try. If you're planning on selling your original paintings, then keep in mind that the colors are probably going to fade over time in sunlight. But they're cheap and definitely better and more opaque than any watercolor paintings I had as a kid. Thanks for watching. Bye!